uh, evening sun which is on that cloud right now when that came through and it lit up these flowers it was absolutely sensational so <laughs> Well, a very good afternoon and uh, greetings today from Oregon. Now, it's a couple of weeks since I put out a video and the last time I did I was over in Bonnie, Scotland. But I've come all the way across the Atlantic and now I've come all the way across the, the United States to the, let's see, it's the, the northwest coast of the United States up to Oregon. And this week, some friends and I are uh, climbing up to Mount Hood and actually we're going to walk around Mount Hood and what's called the Timberline Trail, tra the Timberline Trail. So basically what's happening is that we started off at Timberline Lodge uh, this afternoon and as you could probably see the uh, the weather has not been great but everything started to lift a little bit now the views are starting to come we've walked through some absolutely amazing uh, hemlock forests um, pretty sure they're hemlock anyway and now we've come down descended down into a place called Zigzag Canyon and this up behind me here this is a little waterfall on, on Zigzag Canyon now you might not think from the size of the stream how it could open up such a huge canyon like this but the ground is very very soft and right up the top there of Mount Hood you've got the all the glaciers and so in the springtime every year you got a lot of water coming down here as the the snow melts and the, the glaciers are melting so it's quite a, a drop down into the canyon and then we're climbing way back up again up to a place called Paradise Park and that hopefully will be where we're spending the night tonight that's uh, the first campsite so it should take us about four or five days and uh, we should be able to walk all the way around the mountain and then back up at uh, Timberline Lodge. So we've got a wee bit of a hike to get to up to Paradise Park and it's uh, way up there at about 6,000 feet so quite 
a good climb up out of Zigzag Canyon to get up there. So I'm going to get on my way there and hopefully we've got these uh, spectacular flower meadows up by uh, Paradise Park. And if I'm very, very lucky, the, uh, the light might improve. But I'm hoping especially for tomorrow morning and we're going to get um, some light on the flowers up there. But we'll see if we get some pictures tonight as well. We'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, I'm going to get up, up the hill and uh, talk to you a little later on. So I made it up to Paradise Park, all the way back up to uh, about 6,000 feet, I think it is. And uh, well, just look at this stunning view. It's kind of cleared up off in that direction. I think it, that might be off to the west. I'll have to check on the map in a little bit. Um, but there's still uh, mist and uh, clagged down on the top of the mountain, on the top of Mount Hood. So no views in that direction. But the wildflowers are just absolutely incredible. There's purples and deep reds of the, the Indian paintbrush and uh, yellows and whites and all kinds of things. So stunningly beautiful. So we found ourselves a little uh, campsite and, well, actually we're, we had to split up. There's uh, quite a few of us and there's no one campsite big enough. So we'll split up for that, but that's all right. And um, I might actually go back up the trail a little bit. There's a a gurgling brook back up there that uh, we came past and the flowers down the side of it were just uh, stunning. So I might go and try and take a couple pictures of that just before the light starts to fade. And then, well, then it'll be time for some supper and uh, I think I'll turn in for an early night so I can uh, try and catch the, the sun up in the morning. I'll have to see. But yeah, I think I'll uh, go back up the, the trail there and see see we can take a couple pictures. <laughs> So this is my little gurgling brook, <laughs> an incredible little place. So you've got reds and purples, pinks and whites and yellows, absolutely beautiful. And not only that, but the stream comes winding down. So it's not going to be hard to find a little composition here. But let me get set up and uh, probably get the polarizer out and a little ND filter and uh, see what we can produce. Well, I took a couple of pictures there and also a couple more horizontal with the 23 millimeter. So I'm going to see which one of those turns out best. But looks like the cloud is lifting. We've got a little bit of sunshine on the, the peak of the mountain. So I'm going to pack up here, head back over towards the campsite. And I think the view from there of the top of the mountain should be better. So we'll see if we actually get a sunset after all tonight. That would be fantastic. Alright, I'm all set up and camera is ready to go and if that cloud just clears from the mountain again like it did when I was walking back over from the brook 
then it'll be absolutely stunning. Uh, the sun probably going to go down in about 15 minutes, maybe less. And it, the mountain just came out there for a brief time. But I've got all of these flowers in the foreground. I'm not sure if you can see them. But when that evening sun, ooh, look behind. That evening sun, which is on that cloud right now, when that came through and it lit up these flowers, it was absolutely sensational. So uh, we'll just wait and see if the cloud lifts. And if that sun comes back out a little bit again, that would be fantastic. Stunning, stunning place. She's been a bit of a tease, but that's Mount Hood up there. Unfortunately, I think the sun has just gone below the horizon just before it cleared. It was in and out and in and out, but never quite got the shot. I also moved my position a little bit here and I got a nice little stream going up to the rock that I've been told is called the egg. So I've actually got a, a nice uh, picture of the egg as well. I'll put a wide angle uh, on there just to just to get everything in. So you see, once again, it's it's opening up, but uh, just never quite enough. Eh? Anyway, I'm going to uh, stick around for a few more minutes, but I think I'm going to um, say good night now. Um, if anything come, else comes up, I'll stick it up on the on the screen. But other than that, I'm absolutely starving. I'm going to go back down the campsite, get myself some water, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Anyway, good night for now. Mm -hmm.